here's a good lesson for all of us to learn. This is what 99.9% .9 of the whole world, they have no idea about. Everyone thinks that Satan just fell from heaven and that was it. There are four falls of Satan. It's incremental. He just falls further and further and further at different times. It's not one particular fall. The very first fall of Satan, we know it's already happened. He was initially restricted from his dwelling place in heaven, though allowed to dwell in the second heaven. He's allowed to roam space and the earth and all of this. He's still got free reign, and apparently he still has access to heaven when he's commanded to assemble there. There's apparently a, a time, I don't know if it's continual, I don't know if it's just one time, but in Job 1, we're told about how they, as, as Satan actually assembles, he's part of the assembly of the sons of God in heaven, and God, he, he has him give an account for what he's been doing. So apparently he does still have a certain access right there, but he was kicked out of his first estate, which was this exalted cherubim in heaven. That was the very first fall, but he still has a lot of room to roam around. He's never been to hell. That's what a lot of people don't understand. The second fall is yet to come very shortly. He will next be restricted from dwelling in the second heaven, the space he'll have He's not allowed there. After the coming battle against Michael, you can read about that in Revelation 12, 7, and 8. He's cast down woe into the inhabitants of the earth whenever that happens. Uh, we're raptured before that, so we don't have to worry about that. The third fall, he will then be restricted from dwelling on the earth. So he's restricted from the third heaven initially, then the second heaven, then the earth. And he has to go under the earth, into the bottomless pit. Dwelling on the earth once Christ establishes his millennial reign. Once Jesus sets up his kingdom, Satan's not allowed here. And then the fourth and final one, he will then be let loose for a brief period, only to then be finally defeated once and for all by the Father himself, whereby he is cast into the lake of fire in Revelation 20.10. So whenever he's let out of this bottomless pit, he is then cast into the lake of fire, only to fall for all eternity, even further. So as we can see, there are levels of his fall. It just gets worse and worse and worse every single time.